Today we are uh, in Oklahoma City. I just dropped off my headshots for a, a new movie that's being filmed here because Sylvester Stallone, the legendary Sylvester Stallone, is filming a show here. And his show is called, uh, actually, I'm not sure where he's filming it, but the casting company is in Oklahoma City. So he's filming a, a new movie called The Tulsa King. And it's about a New York mobster that comes to Tulsa and takes over the town. And I think it's Lucy based on a true story, or it could just be based on a novel. I'm not sure. But anyways, I saw the post about it. They were hiring for casting for uh, extras and different things, actors and stuff. And, uh, you know, I've been out of the whole acting thing now since we left China. I haven't acted in any... Uh, well, actually, I did do a voiceover for a Chinese... Uh, Actually, the voiceover was for like a B BYD. I don't know if you're a BYD. It's a Build Your Dream. BYD is a car company in China, and they're doing like a Siri system or an OnStar system. So I did voiceover for that, but I haven't really done any acting or anything like that since I've been in America. So this just fell on my lap, and I said, you know what? Maybe this is divine providence. Maybe I should cast my lot, apply. So I sent them my resume and everything. And uh, a buddy of mine who's in, uh, who was a tap dancer for Disney, he said, why don't you um, just drive up to Oklahoma City and um, give them your headshots, go talk to them, meet them and stuff. So we drove up here to meet them and uh, dropped off our headshots and stuff, bought them a little gift for the office staff and, and we'll see where it goes. I called the owner of the company. Okay. Um, when do you think we should change? Hold on, sorry, my story. And the, the, and this this um, this is the bulgogi, the dark one, right? Yes, yeah, that's and that the one. You can eat. You don't have to blacken it, right? No, no. But no. the pork has to be cooked a little longer. Pork, yeah. Honestly, you can cook it how you like it. Um, mm -hmm. I like it to be like a little crispy, so I cook it for a little longer. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Of course. I mean, but she knows. She, yeah, she, yeah. Keep it. Keep yeah, it or it'll change. Yeah, it has to change now. Yeah, I'll bring it over. Okay. Thank okay. You. So this is mine is what's that what's that you're eating there? Hold on. What is this called here? It's called a nian gao. I'm not sure how to say that in Chinese. It's like English. a noodle pudding. No. Oh, rice cake, baby. Rice cake. It's like a rice cake. Like a noodle. In a noodle shape. But it's very famous. This is what is it called? Tupoki or two? Yeah, tapoki. How do you say it? Uh tapoki. Tapoki. Yeah. Tapoki. Yeah, and you can find that book at like Korean grocery store. I mean, you can really find it everywhere. Korean grocery stores, Korean restaurants, you know. Uh, you can buy it cold in um, a little plastic container with a spicy sauce. So that's the that book. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Anyways, tapoki. Am I saying it right? Tapoki? This is tapoki. Let's get closer. Yeah, there's tapoki there. And this is a Korean uh, noodle. I think it's a potato base? Right. Oh, rice. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a yeah, rice based right. noodle. Yeah. So that's tapoki. That's very famous. You can find that at Korean grocery stores and everything. And uh, I don't like it at all, but Koreans love it. And sometimes when you order certain dishes where there's a lot of things in it, to save money on the meat, they'll throw extra of that in. And that always gets me upset because I'm paying for the meat. You know, I want extra meat, you know. And, you know. Anyways, so we're here uh, giving our headshots, casting for this new TV show, The Tulsa King. I sent Sylvester Stallone a message personally, and I said, Sly, holla at me. I'm here, Goomba from Chicago in Tulsa. Saw what you're doing, like to be involved, you know, so waiting for a reply from Sly himself. But uh, I sent the cash agency my email, and then today I drove up to Oklahoma City to give him a headshot. So we're celebrating and claiming we'll get a role in this new show. And uh, even if I just got a small role as, as, as an extra, whatever, I don't care. I think it's just kind of cool to get back into this industry, which... I've really been out of since COVID. I haven't filmed any movies since COVID, so it'll be cool. Let's see what happens. Right now, we're uh, Asher is playing Chef Boyardee. He's learning how to do Korean barbecue. 
is chopping it up and cooking it up for us, and Ethan is patiently waiting to eat. Let's get a, let's get them on film. Scared of the fire. Got scared of the fire, huh? No, I never said I'm scared. I said the fire is kind of scary. Oh, the fire is kind of scary. Nick, you're Different words. This? Different meaning. You're br What'd you say? Nick, you're yeah, and the closer you put it to your mouth, the louder it gets and it hurts people's ears. <laughs> That's a microphone. Yeah, I this is a microphone that if I plug into that microphone, it'll be louder. It'll be louder. But because I'm trying to get it on your side so you can say whatever you want, I unplugged it and just put it by you. Oh, okay. Got it? So you don't really actually need it. Just turn on that and turn on that. Off. Yeah, but then this one was so close to me, I can't hear you. Now this is the middle of you hear everybody. Oh, so you can hear this? Yeah, we can hear Asher cutting, we can hear the, the, the sizzling of the meat. Let me just come a little more here. Yeah. I create later. Let's do this. I'm going to put this on time lapse. Time lapse? And oh. we won't need the Thanks, Amy, for all this uh, barbecue here. This is delicious. Oh, I see you got K-pop playing back there. Those girls are so beautiful. Yeah, um, I mean, everyone's expected to be really beautiful in like Korea, especially like Asian countries, um, because like the expectancy rate of like everyone's standards are just so high there. Wow. And you're expected to look a certain way as well as like, you know, do everything in a certain way. Um, you're expected to be like as smart as everyone else as well. The standard in Korea is just like very high. That's and, a lot of pressure. Yeah, and it's almost like impossible, really. So like a lot of girls undergo like surgery, um, even guys as well, um, just to like fit the standard that Korea wants. Uh huh. Wow. So how do they live with all that pressure? It's crazy. You know, when me and my wife here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. When me and my wife were visiting Busan, the hotel uh, room next to us, we were sleeping in. We heard like yelling and fighting, and then we heard like, how did they all? And then boom, we heard this body hit the floor. Yeah. And then we heard police, and we heard ambulance, and then all these people started coming, and we found out that the girl next door was fighting with her boyfriend, and she jumped out the window and killed yeah. herself while we were on vacation. Yeah. And you know, if you think about the chances of that happening, it's very rare. So yeah. what does that say to how frequent that happens? So I looked it up and I found out that the suicide rate is really high mm -hmm. because they have to study from like morning to night. Yeah. When I was in China, I was teaching English the first couple of years mm -hmm. and we taught the kids after school from 3.30 yeah. to 9 p.m. Yeah. They were doing piano, guitar, yeah. uh, violin, English, math. Some mm -hmm. of the students would study till 11 p.m. Kids yeah. eight years old, nine years old, 10 years old. Yeah. And then when the Chinese kids would have their holidays, I asked the Korean kids, what are you guys going to do for the holidays? And they would say, oh, we're studying. Yeah. So on like the summer break and the spring break, they had to study. I mean, that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's not even just pressure that comes from society, but it's pressure that comes from their parents themselves um, just to do better. And honestly, for kids to just look a certain way and like have like really good skills, like for piano and everything, even like cooking.
cooking skills to be a good housewife either. Mm -hmm. Like, it's also the parent looks good, and that's what I saw based on like research that I've done as well. Yeah. Um, that it's not just society, but parents themselves. Yeah, put the pressure on the kids. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Thank you for that. We, we appreciate giving us that, that, that insight, you know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we want to push our kids to do what's best and to study hard. But at the same time, we want it to be balanced with rest and fun and yeah. at the same time, too. So she's more of the strict tiger mom. I don't know if you heard of tiger well, I'm mom. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of the let's have fun daddy, you know. I, I just, you know He's just, great, basically. Yeah. Basically, I'm great. So you guys can all throw roses at me, you know. <laughs> but that's so awesome. Thank you for letting yeah, us know that. Yeah, thank you. Do you like this in the pork? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of crunchy or it's good? Crunchy. What's your favorite food in Oklahoma? Um, I don't know. Bob, maybe? Uh, and. How about grill? How about grill? What's that? 100 degrees. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Oh, hot, hot. That's you really like that hot pot grill, huh? Yeah, and this place. <laughs> it's still in Oklahoma. Sounds like all your three favorite foods are all Asian. Vietnamese, Chinese, and Korean. Yeah. Asians know how to cook. That's for sure. Not just hamburger. Exactly. Yeah. Brazilians can cook too. Yeah. Or Ethan's favorite, meatloaf. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who Who doesn't want their nice paste? I love the paste. Yeah, I think we're okay for the taste. Yeah. Can we order some more beef or something? Absolutely, what do you want? Uh, there you Nothing. go. Nothing. The beef, I prefer beef actually. I prefer the pork rather. I want to go to heaven, so I don't know. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> Mommy wants to go to heaven like the Chechen soldiers. No pork. Look at Texas. Pork. Or the Ukrainians? Chechen. Wait, Chechen can't touch pork? No. Oh, I thought you said Ukraine. No. Oh, okay. no. Ukrainians dip their bullets in the pork, so the Chechens are afraid. Ha! Do, you, do you believe in that? <laughs> oh, no, I can't eat pork. Oh. Yeah, also. If the Chechens attack us right now, what I need to do is take this uh, pork and throw it at them. Yeah, take this pork and throw it at them. I thought they released all the pigs around there, so they won't get you know get close to them. No. That's a good idea. Can you go to a black eyed whale for me? Take it! No, right? Let me go. Oh no, I'm going to hell. <laughs> mm. Yeah. That's why I don't believe like an extreme diet. You cannot eat this. Not, you know, you shouldn't eat a lot of those certain things. You know what I'm saying? Except What's actually whispering? Like, don't talk into each other. Like, oh, talk, and somebody else talks, and you just can't hear it. Mmm, good idea. But it's okay, be natural. Is that ready? Oh, yes. This is reality TV. It is natural. I mean, ah. it's just a lot of editing for me. That's the problem. You don't have to edit everything. Just edit the main thing that you want people to hear. Oh, okay. They're just, yeah. It steals a lot. Tell me. The native speakers will hear. I'm ready. Can I open Sure. I'm gonna get more of this one. You got a couple waitress. I need that. Fred. Is that how I say a friend? Ooh, you man. Oh, we're going to be trying to help you're Korean. All right, Daddy. Now it's my turn to order. We're paying for it. That's how you order right there. Bulgogi, bulgogi, Did you put one more of the fat pork? The, the marinated pork, pork belly? Yeah. Okay. Just one more of that one. One. Definitely another bulgogi. I don't really like bulgogi much. It's kind of very sweet. I love like bulgogi. But it's okay. We got some. I'm just saying. I liked bulgogi a lot when I was in China. But now that I'm out of China, I like the more authentic, real pork belly. Is that all? Marinated pork belly, 
Maybe order two pork. Order two pork. Two pork jellies. I'm trying the, the pork wine. Do you want the wine pork? Okay. So order, I think, pork? Yeah. Real life speed. Okay.